This is the structure of an antibody, or if you prefer to get scientific, immunoglobulins. A word of which I cannot pronounce. As you can see, it looks very boring, but it is a vital protein used to neutralize foreign objects, which means, basically, in ninth grade terms, it is stuff in your body that keeps you healthy. Antibodies are Y-shaped glycoproteins, meaning they contain proteins that contain covalently attached sugar residues that are found in the bloodstream or other bodily fluids of vertebrae that are used by the immune system. Antibodies have an antigen bonding site at the tip of their stem. Antigens are the things in your body that cause illness, like the bad guys in a video game. Each antibody bonds to a specific type of antigen, kind of like a lock and key, and the antibody gets rid of the antigen. Antigens left in the system without the protection of an antibody is what causes certain bacteria, viruses, diseases, and other invaders to get in and hurt the body. Antibodies come in varieties known as isotypes. There are five different types of antibody isotypes, abbreviated as IgA, IgD, IgE, IgG, and IgM. The Ig prefix stands for the antibody's other name, the word of which I cannot pronounce, immunoglobulin, I think. The other letter in the classes stand for the differ in their biological properties. IgA, for example, is an isotype found in breast milk, tears, and saliva and gets rid of infectious agents of antigens. The rest of the isotypes get rid of antigens in other parts of the body. Their diversity keeps you healthy all over. You may be thinking to yourself, why is this important to you? Because antibodies are always scoping out and treating diseases, they keep your immune system active and healthy. Why is this important to our class? Well, we did learn about proteins, and antibodies are proteins. Plus, we learned a lot about cells, and antibodies are produced by white blood cells. And we talk about proteins a lot.